to my channel and uh, welcome back to the room with terrible lighting as you can see but we're going with what we've got anyway today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be a quote-unquote transformation video um I like doing these videos there's really no point in them I just like it and I've always liked the idea of trying to make yourself look different um, than what you usually have. My style is like I've just headbanged um, a black eyeshadow palette, which is generally what I do. Um, anyway, so we're doing pastel goth. It's just going to be a fun video. Um, I've got contacts in. I've got one in at the moment. Um, my other eye's playing up, so we're doing what we're doing. Um, yes, my skin's breaking out. I look horrible. Sorry, not sorry. Such is life. Um, I really have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing. I have a couple of pictures on my laptop down here. Um, I don't know. Uh, it seems to be a lot of purples, um, from what I googled online. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own many purples. The only purples that I own is from this Kat Von D palette. Those are what I've got working with besides black. Um, I've got a couple of sugar peel colours, but no purples. That's what I've got. The outfit's going to be interesting. Um, I am not going out and buying clothes to never wear. And I will probably never ever wear again. Um, for the sake of a video. Uh, it's going to be interesting because I own absolutely no colours whatsoever besides white. But white's not technically a colour, now is it? Or black. I own black. Black's the only coloured clothes I own. I went through a massive phase where I just threw out... Throwing my shit around. I basically went through a massive phase where I was like, fuck it, I'm going to wear the clothes that I want. I got rid of everything else. So that's what is going on at the moment, but we're going to make do. I've got a couple of pieces of clothing that might be interesting, might not be. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. This is just for fun. This is just experimentation because I like makeup. I got a day off. I'm bored. Let's get to the video. Hours old coffee. Oof. That is very loud. Why are you that loud? So I'm just going to start off with my usual. Um... I don't think there's any difference in not doing the thing the usual. Primer. Alrighty, so I'm going to assume that from all the pictures I've seen and the pictures, the two reference pictures I've got up here because I kind of need them, it's still very pale. They're both very pale, they've just got different types of makeup, so I'm going in with some really light foundation. I have they don't look like they've got much or of any type of contour especially nothing heavy nothing like I usually do um so I guess we're just gonna lightly contour I guess And because I forgot to put powder on, we're going to do that quickly. So I just got some light pressed powder, which is actually a shade darker than my foundation, which works out better. Alrighty. Um... One of the things that I got when looking at pictures, um, because I need reference pictures because your girl doesn't know what she's doing, it seems they've all got really flat brows. I'm all about flat brows, I absolutely love the look, but mine tend to be more angled up towards my hairline. So we're just gonna figure that shit out as we go along. 
I'm doing what I always do and take some of the NYX liquid lipstick in black because you can use lipstick on your eyebrows, nobody really gives a fuck. I'm not hating on them brows, but they can definitely be improved. Alright, now I'm getting a flat brush and working on them eyebrows. This is not a tutorial at all. This is just me being home alone. <laughs> This is what we've got. This is what we're working with. And now the scary part. I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright. I'm taking a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with the lightest shade there. And kind of pray for the best. And now I'm going to take that, that, whatever colour that is there, and kind of popping it on the lids. I don't know why, but we'll figure this out. merged into the same colour, I guess. I don't it's probably very hard to tell my really crap phone, but whatever. Whatever, we've got it, we've got it, we're fine, we're fine. What are you talking about? We're fine, we're fine. So on the same brush because I'm cheap and I only have like three makeup brushes ever. Take it on the outside. Not too far on the outside because we want to look alive, not dead. Which is apparently the goal in life. Alright, so as you can probably not tell Dark purple on the outside and underneath of my eye, lighter purple in the middle. It's what's going for me at the moment. Is that white or is that grey? I'm not too sure to be honest. Taking this full outy as fuck shade, which is like a white, I don't know. It doesn't look white, it's probably off white. I don't know if it was supposed to be white. And blending it in the inner corner into my eye vid because I forgot to do this before. I have no highlighters. That's one thing I don't have is a highlighter. Sue me over it. Don't have one. But there are some shimmery highlights, I'm going to assume. Blush. I don't know. We're going to work with it. I'm going to use my disgusting fingers and that's silver. That's fine. That's fine.
Okay, that's better. That is dramatically better. I think. I don't know. Still winging it. We're still going. So now that we have this monstrosity on my face, we are going to go in with some black to darken it up the smidgest of bits. Just the tiniest bit on the outer corners. We get the same brush from before. Gonna go in with some white eyeliner, NYX again. I love their products. Same with Astralis, as you can probably tell with my previous makeup videos. I love Astralis. So next we're going in with the eyeliner, using the Astralis liquid eyeliner because it's good. It does the job. And I kind of want to follow what the girls got and do like the inner thing. It's just going to be very hard to try and not do it the way I usually do it, which we'll figure out that goes. I don't know how far is too far in terms of this type of makeup, but it's not too bad at the moment, I have to admit. I'm doing pretty well for myself. Alright, while they are drying slightly, I'm going to go on with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Not the best mascara I've tried personally, but it does the job. It's nice. I like it. It's next expensive, so I'm going to be using it. Well, now that that disaster was over, I am not going to be wearing false lashes. That was just horrible. I don't know why I decided to do that. Oh yeah, that's right, for the video. Um, This is kind of what's going on, I think. I, you know, and to, fi to finish off this very, very girly look while my thing's drying, you have to draw love hearts, because everyone likes love hearts apparently. One is lower than the other, but let's ignore that for now, shall we? Actually, let's just ignore that. Just full stop. Going back in with the same lipstick that I used for my eyebrows. So this is what I've got at the moment. Trying to keep the loop, the bleh, trying to keep the lips cute and plump and big and as tumbler as I can. But that's what's going on. Time to go do the part that I'm kind of dreading the most and put some girl clothes on. making it this far if you have um i really don't know what else to say besides i'm gonna sit outside enjoy the sunshine and then go take my makeup off <laughs> um it's interesting i don't mind it i probably will wear it again but more my style more blacks um no skirt it's coming up to the australian winter so i am lucky that today is not extremely cold and I'm not freezing my butt off. 
I will probably be doing a couple more transformation videos. I like doing them. I like watching them. Therefore, I'm going to make them. So like, comment, and subscribe if you want some more. I'm not professional. I'm sitting outside filming my outro wearing a skirt. It's great. Life's great. Bye.